I don't know how you do that either. Um, <clears throat> yep. We can. We're move we're almost to, at sixty uh, minutes. No, just real quick. Why yeah, do you think ahead. people online defend Putin? Go ahead. Quick answer. Um. Uh. Seventy percent of people defending Putin online are bots. You you've given me crap for saying stuff like this in the past. I agree with you, but <laughs> you've given I'm me more convinced that Russia that is some shit that Russia would do top down from like a state level, right? Like a. No, hundred percent. We've been seen it before, had, man. Like, they have yeah, those right, fucking right. troll farms in twenty twenty or whatever. They literally it was. have. Oops. Uh, fuck, been man. proven. <laughs> You're fine. It doesn't matter. They've been proven to have those troll farms for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, um, so let's just real no, quick, Let's do this too. There's other questions. Real an quick. An honest on. answer. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh no no no. Well, actually, now I'm I think curious. Russian propaganda is. I think Russian oh, it's, propaganda it's is very strong. It is. I think a lot of this. people buy into the state media there. Yeah. What do you do in your mind? <clears throat> We're going to do rapid questions now. And you can do them to me oh, if you okay. want to. Yeah, what do you do in your mind when people say that like NATO provoked Russia? <laughs> like, Kill them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, do you, or what do you do? Yeah, your, just... do, you eye, you, you do a hard eye roll or do you nod your head and say that's so true? Well, what do you do? Well, the the honest person inside me would say I need to understand more. All right, that's you being really nice to everyone. But all right. <laughs> well, because because I'm sure that yeah. there wasn't there's I'm sure that there's not nothing to that point. You know what I mean? It's not if that ar- argument has zero uh, evidence for it. I know it. what you mean. Yes. But, like, to, but to what extent is it convincing? It's zero because I can just say who invaded who. So so it's zero percent, right or no? Right. That's some... still no. Right. You're 100 percent right there okay. because that's <laughs> right. not a rational response to. Right. 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 To NATO encroachment, right. quote unquote. No, right. but you, but, just, but but yeah, and and yeah. that's always where the fun discussion is. So I I do kind of appreciate you pushing it that way. But 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 yeah, there's always context to things, right? Like Russia doesn't like NATO. We get that, of course. So if right. countries make right. decisions to join NATO, is Russia going to be happy? No, Russia's not going to be like. Of course we under you know. Right. And in that way, it's like I'm not going to use. You shouldn't use the word provoke, but like you could be like, oh. Maybe they attacked Ukraine because they were annoyed NATO was expanding. That still doesn't right, mean they right. should have. They're fucking scum. Right. right. Both, anyway. can, both right. can be true, right? right. right. Like, right. NATO right. might have been expanding right. too much. Right. And also, right. this is not a justified response to that threat. It's just not. What do you think? Last thing, and then we're done. Because And this yeah, is so ahead. interesting to me because we've talked for years about all kinds of political garbage. It's all garbage, right? But we have. Maga. And one of the original things we talked about back in the day, but someone yeah. brought it up, where our girl Tulsi endorsed Bernie, Tulsi. but then got thrown overboard, and that was her start of her political whatever. <laughs> yeah. What do you what do you think Journey. about people that like do call her a Russian asset now being nominated? Like I honestly, I'm asking legitimately. Like I, God. is she one? I I think people their argument is that her talking points are, which I do think there is an argument there. But I don't know. Do you actually have an idea or no? Could well, so my answer is going to be very similar to the first. <laughs> I need more information. I know. Right? Me like too, I, man. I don't I hear know. That and I'm what just I like, will wow, say though like, is, yeah, yeah, her trajectory, like the way that she's changed her allegiance and affiliation, to me, that feels screams gross. insincerity. 100%. Oh yeah, that feels gross. Because I just don't know no how. Question. If you're somebody who's a progressive, I don't care how bad the Democrat is. Trump is always worse. If you're genuinely a progressive, the right. conservative response, especially economically, is always going to be objectively worse. So I just I. She feels like just somebody angling for any sort of relevance or any sort of power. And, and real she's quick, got it. she got it. She fucking got it. Well, real, well, she has to be confirmed. Bag. But real quick, yeah. Let's go down the path of let's. She gets confirmed. Let's mm-hmm. give her. I don't. Good, what was let's she give her. For? Let's give her. I don't even know. Let's give her the good faith argument for what she stands for, which is she doesn't like war. War is bad. Which facts, right? With no context. There true. you go. Literally, let's if you go. say no context and say war is bad, that's true. All right. We love that. So let's run yeah. down this path. America. Okay. Is in a lot of places that she's criticized, stationed, and even does partake still in some like conflicts. Especially, you think America's going to keep its distance from like Israel, whatever. So I think 
it's going to be interesting. It'll be easy to find out people's true motivations, especially with people like her in this administration, because if she joins and they just keep doing war in the same way that it always has through Obama, through Trump, through Biden. I mean, let's give Biden credit. He even pulled out of Afghanistan, but sure, you did. know, so it's just going to be like, all right, so things just continued as normal. Oh, those even darn though, rhinos. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, those damn rhinos. Do we, do I because of what you said as far as like changing allegiance like do i trust her to no i think she's going to be a total grifter and like it's not going to matter to her and we're still going to be in wars and it's what it is but we'll mm-hmm. see if you actually stand by your principles on that then you would think director of national intelligence is interesting what could be her end game there or is she just looking for any position possible she could just be grifting a position like i just said and then it doesn't really matter to her and we're like still what's in all the these end conflicts. game right Dude, like what's know. your end Dude, game? I, I don't i don't know it, 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 mm. I'm so tempted to say a lot of these people aren't serious people. They just actually are people who are addicted to relevance. But then, oh boy, if they're in charge of us, that's tough. Anyways. <laughs> uh, well, she could just be positioning for a future presidency. I don't fucking know. I will say, uh, Director of National Intelligence, I don't know that she gets confirmed. This is this is the one thing we'll end I with. don't think she you gets said confirmed something that here. made me think of this. In the future... Sure. Donald Trump is no longer able to run for anything. Who is best equipped as a politician to replace Donald Trump and still be able Ugh. to keep as many of his followers as possible voting for them? Ugh. Nobody, right? Who would you say? I would say I can't even think of the person. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. He nobody. is unique. Nobody with his... the same pull as him. He is. He absolutely right. is. Yeah. Because high propensity I voters, would... Kamala just won high propensity voters. He kind of upended a lot of political wisdom this election cycle by just being able to pull out like random ass motherfucks from the population to vote for him and to get him to win. You know what I will say though? Yeah. Don Jr. is going to try. I don't he's think gonna he does it. he's going to fail miserably. I agree. Miserably, he's very but... unpalatable, <laughs> but I do think he's going to try as the heir apparent, and I don't think it'll work out. All right, well. Tim Walls 2020. You know who has a chance, though? Tim Walls 2028. Yeah, what's up? Jesus. I love Tim Walls. You don't Trump. like Tim Walls? Oh, no. I was just sorry. I was reading something. Oh. No, twenty. Uh, Walls 28, he probably wins that one, depending on... Actually, you know yeah, what? We'll he see. probably wins we'll that see. one. Full stop, period. We'll see the context. I'll make a bet, and I'll make sure whoever I bet I don't bet want right to now. win, so that... No, it's a good bet. We have to actually have names. <laughs> All right.